By the time the English colonists came to America in the early 1600s, five Indian nations, the Mohawks, the Oneidas, Onondagas, Cayugas, and the Senecas, had joined together to create what came to be called the Iroquois Confederacy. The main goal of the Confederacy was to keep the peace among its members and uh, resolve conflicts. The building blocks of Iroquois society were longhouses, wooden cabins that stretched up to 200 feet in length. Several nuclear families, all related on the mother's side, shared a single longhouse. Family members tended their own separate hearth where they cooked, slept, and kept warm. As they shared the longhouses, the five tribes of the Iroquois Confederacy also shared the hunting grounds of what is now New York State, but they remained independent of one another. They ended up becoming a very powerful and dominant group by the end uh, of the 17th century in upstate New York. Though they were allies in times of war, the individual tribes had their own trading partnerships with European settlers. Sometimes they sided with the British, sometimes with the French. The Iroquois played one side against the other until they got the best deal. This strategy allowed the Iroquois to remain powerful for most of the 18th century. It's really not until the American Revolution that the, the power of the Iroquois becomes seriously diminished. The Iroquois decision to side with the British during the American Revolution proved a disaster. It destroyed the powerful and prosperous Confederacy. A number of major campaigns were launched against the Iroquois during the American Revolution, destroying villages, destroying their crops, and one of our best records of how wealthy and successful the Iroquois were at this point in time are the records from these American expeditions against the Iroquois of just how much they destroyed. During the war, the Iroquois lost their land and their lucrative trading networks. As a result, once the revolution had ended, many Iroquois abandoned their longhouses and fled to British Canada. The ones who stayed behind struggled to survive.